DeFi Render has recently introduced 38 new features in the newest update, four of which are AI-based, beyond image generation. So potentially, we could be looking at the ultimate AI workflow for architects. Now, the thing that makes this interesting is that these features are integrated within D5, and D5 claims that these features will streamline your design process, but how fast are we talking? Can they truly revolutionize the way architects work? So let's get started. The first feature is D5 High. I won't spend too much time here because I believe many of you are already familiar with generative AI. You can have a job if you want to have a job, but the AI will be able to do everything. What did he say? But to use this tool, you need to sign up first, and I believe that D5 Pro members will get a priority on the waiting list. Once approved, you can choose between architecture or generic categories. I'm selecting architecture, and only facade styling is available for now. So write a prompt or describe your scene like a modern minimalistic cabin in the woods. There are advanced options to tweak the creativity and outputs. Hit generate to see the results. And if you're feeling stuck with your prompt like I do many times, they've got a prompt lexicon for inspiration. It's handy, especially when AI gets tricky, you know? Now without AI, you can rely on the traditional methods such as your sketching, modeling, and research techniques to brainstorm and develop initial design concepts. In all fairness guys, I've been trying to use this tool for a few days now, but every time I hit generate, it just gets stuck at 75% or 99 and it says network error. So I'm not really sure if this is a problem from my side or from theirs. But we finally have the images and they look pretty great. If you click on the image, you can compare it to the original, you can download an HD version, or generate different image variations. So all in all, I do think this tool is really useful, but I'm still apprehensive of the network issue. So if you've used this tool before, please let me know if you've had any issues with your network. But I cannot wait for this to be fully integrated within D5. I think it'll be really useful. So with AI Atmosphere Match, you can upload a reference image to set up your scene. So I have the sunset image from Pixels that I'm going to upload. And after that, I'm going to click on Snap Current View and then start generating. So once you apply that, it uses the style from your inspirational image to set up the scene of your D5 render. Okay, it does a pretty good job at matching the atmosphere of the images. I'm not entirely sure if it's generating an image or is it finding a matching HDRI. So let's try another one like this cloudy one. Snap the view, click on start generating and then apply. See how it's adjusting the lighting to match the images? It's kind of cool. And of course, without AI, you can achieve these effects by using HDRI or adjusting the geo and sky manually. It takes a little practice and more time. Moving on, we've got this cool AI feature that can generate maps for your materials, specifically PBR maps, such as the normal roughness and displacement maps. So imagine you have this really cool new material like velvet, um, you don't have the normal specular or displacement maps, so don't worry, there's this button up here. Click it and in seconds, it will generate maps for some of these slots based on your image. So it basically creates its own maps to give your material that PBR look. And see how tweaking them affects the material? I think that's a pretty good job from just an image. And then you could tweak these sliders to change how smooth or rough the material is, reflection, etc. And without AI, you can get the same results, of course. You'd have to spend more time finding a free website for good PBR material with all the maps. It's not hard and the websites are out there, but it might just take some time, especially if it's a unique material. So if you only have an image and you want this PBR look, I think this AI generated texture map feature could be a game changer. So let's say I want to spruce up this scene with some vines. So in the assets, it looks like they've added procedurally generated vines. That is a tough word to say. Okay, this one is free in the community version. So just click download and then place it against a wall. 
See that little blue guide? It shows you where the vines will grow. Hit generate and it will start growing. This is really appealing to the gardener in me. Wait a minute! Who are you? You can tweak stuff like the size, the density, all that good stuff. And notice how it adjusts automatically. Hit random if you want to mix things up. You can even adjust the length and the width of the leaves. There's a ton of cool stuff that you can do with these vines. I mean, without AI, vines are a little tricky to get them to look natural. They have other normal vines. This one's my favorite. But the options are kind of limited in the free community version, so I think I prefer to Photoshop them manually. Um, so let's just do that quickly. Okay. I mean, they do look pretty good, but it wasn't as effortless as the AI version. This is really appealing to the gardener in me. So all in all, I believe that these features have helped a lot with my process, making it faster and overall more efficient. Now, like I said, you can do everything without the AI features, but it'll just take twice as long. Now, integrating AI into D5 Render wasn't the only feature in the 2.6 update, if you believe it or not. They've introduced 38 features in the new update, so I highly recommend watching the official overview tutorial so that you can see the full list of features. Now, I was so shocked when I first watched the video, I had to record myself for your entertainment, so please excuse the realness. Need a shot that glides forward? Simply select the corresponding template in D5 to seamlessly animate your scene from the existing perspective. You can select all objects within a group and make a bulk replacement by clicking the replace button located in the top right corner. To ensure the group is correctly oriented as a whole, you can adjust its orientation by rotating a single object within it. Repeat this process on other objects. What did I just watch? You can kind of tell my thoughts with my reaction clips. So hands down, D5 is the best rendering software in my opinion, and it's a hill I'm willing to die on. They even asked if there are other AI features you'd like to see in the upcoming updates, so let us know in the comments. And I'm honestly so excited for every update now. They've set the bar so high, and other rendering softwares have been really quiet. They, they need to catch up. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next. I'm Rasha Shiruro, and I will see you next time. Bye.